Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with part two of working on Soul Christmas Journal. Um, just to remind you, kind of the parameters of this particular custom order were, um, it's, it's ultimately going to be a gift for a man, so there's that. Um, then also... Uh, this little book that's on the cover here, um, I'm going to use. I'm going to use as much as that, as much of that as I possibly can in here, and then we're going to avoid poinsettias. So <laughs> those are the three things we're working on. So last time we made the cover, and it is all dry. And the only thing I've done is I have added the hitch post fastener. And I've also put on um, a grommet because I think we're going to um, end up using probably seam binding to close this because it's it's going to be a big one. It's going to be three signatures. So that's what we're going to do to th in this video is go ahead and see if we can't get our signatures kind of put together. Um I have paper everywhere <laughs> right now um, because I have pulled some things that um, I think that we'll use. Um, I'm going to set these aside for now and um, these envelopes and things as well. And we're going to work with the scrapbook paper first. So what I have here is six pieces of scrapbook paper. My plan is to put a uh, piece of scrapbook paper on the outside of each signature and as the center of each signature. And hopefully that will be enough to um, hold some photos and things. I have some ideas of how we can how we can fix these pages up so they can work for um, what my customer is hoping for. So we're going to prepare these. So this is the first signature. Um, I decided I liked how this looks with the cover. So that's what we're gonna do is get these ready. So it's just a matter of getting them cut to the right size. So we're gonna go um, nine by 12 on these. And so we just have to figure out, you know, which, which side we want you know and and which um, yeah and and how we want those to go I want this Santa Claus for sure um, Santa is also kind of a, a focus of this journal as well so um, we are going to go you guys, as I was looking for the papers, I was also grabbing out ephemera stuff, and um, that'll be another video, I believe, but, you know, with the decorating and stuff, but, oh my gosh, it was fun to go through all my Christmas stuff. Um, I've also got this little one I think I'm going to set aside, too, but I kind of have pulled some things that I think will work, trims and, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're going to go nine this way so this is going to be kind of cool because this is left so that's something that we can no doubt do something fun with so there is that's nine and so look at this side isn't that pretty so we're going to just fold that And this is going to be the outside of signature one. So let me just grab my cover again and just kind of show you that this will be the first signature in the book. So I'm kind of thinking I want to go eight and a half, not nine, right? Yep, that's what I want to do. So I'm glad I grabbed that to look. I was I was not thinking correctly there. So we're gonna just shave off a half an inch. That's okay. 
there wasn't much there to to see anyway. We might be able to use that strip on something. Okay, so eight and a half is what we want to go on these. So there's the outside of that one. This has journaling cards on it, but I do have another sheet of this, so that's kind of nice to be able to use this. I wanted six different um, six different pages, so and the back of this one is just kind of a plaid. It's very plain. So let's see if we go nine. Just going to cut off the top of these. Let's see what nine this way looks like. I actually think I like nine this way better. So that's a consideration too as you're doing actually eight and a half. Were you all screaming that? <laughs> you always tell me in the comments that you're screaming this or you're screaming that. I love it. Uh, I would be too. Okay, so that kind of cuts off the words. So let's 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 try it this way and see what eight and a half would be this way. See if it's a better. Yeah, I think it's better this way. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for screaming at me. I heard you this time. <laughs> yeah, so that's fine. And then I think I want this to be the center because that's rather plain. So we're going to go ahead and just give this a fold. should get my bone folder. I might as well do that right now and just... Get them nice and nice and crisp. Okay, signature one, beginning of which we have now. Okay, so then let's do two. So the outside of two is going to be this page. So let's get the strip off. So I'm just now uploading part one of this series, but I just, I'm just having fun and I wanted to keep working. So I powered up my phone a little bit and here we are. <laughs> um, how do I, I think I like the Christmas greeting that it says there. It says a joyful Christmas at the bottom. We would get Santa Claus this way, I think. Yes. Yes, I think this is the way I want to go with the eight and a half on this one. Okay. So, outside of this cover, and then this is so cute on the inside, too. Yeah. This is so fun. Um, I love doing Christmas anyway. And then to kind of have the interesting challenges of making it a little more masculine and also um, the photos, getting the photos in there is kind of fun. Okay, well, we'll take off the strip because that's going to have to be done at some point, right? Guys, if you hear banging around upstairs at all, it is my husband. He is making chicken parmesan for dinner tonight. Yum! And I looked at him with my big sad eyes, and he makes the best oatmeal cookies in the world, oatmeal chocolate chip cookies in the world. And so I looked at him with my sad eyes, because <laughs> we're all out, and said... Oh, were you going to make cookies too? And he's like, yes. The thing is, is that is his creative outlet. Cooking is his creative outlet. So 
I can be down here doing mine and he can be up there doing his. The only thing is, is I get a lot more benefit from his than he does from mine. <laughs> but, oh, that's going to be cute. So I love that side. But then that'll be the middle. Isn't that pretty? Granted, it's doilies. It's a little, but we'll, we'll work on it. We'll, we'll get it. Okay, so there's the first two signatures. Let's do number three, and then we'll move on to the other papers. Um, okay, so this one's going to be the outside of the next one. And I kind of wanted to keep the boy. I don't know if he's going to... Let's see if eight and a half. Oh yeah, he's gonna stay there. So yeah, we'll keep the boy. And he'll be on the other side, but that's okay. Okay. I'm trying to do these straight, but usually I would get my head in the camera to do it, so. Um. And then again, we've got kind of one with the journaling cards that, um, so we'll have to figure out which way's the best on that. But let's get this strip off. And okay, so eight and a half. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's like right at the top of these journaling cards, but that's okay. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. All right. Look at us just making progress. Okay, I think I might be done with this for a moment. So this will be the middle. This side's just kind of a plain damask type of thing. Okay. Yay, yay, yay. So, this one will go in the middle of that one. Okay, signatures one, two, and three. So now, let's look at our other papers. I have a pile of them here. So, these are... These are pages from a 1966, uh, what's it called? Um, what's it called? The Golden Magazine from 1966, but I love the pictures of Santa in it, so I thought we'd do those. Look at this one. <laughs> he's come out of the chimney, and he's all dirty, and he's just... Santa gets stuck. That's the name of the story. So, yeah, apparently he did. So, maybe we'll do third. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So, I'm just going to I'm just going to file these into the signatures just as I go and we can always make changes later on. Um, but kind of gives me an idea what I'm doing. That actually looks cute with the green on there, doesn't it? Okay, so then this is the other kind of fun page that I have. Um, these are children's Christmas music from a children's Christmas music book and um, I think well I'm not sure about the golden book maybe both of them came from Happy Mail so thank you to those who who helped out with that um, this is going to be too long I do believe is it oh no it isn't it's perfect awesome okay I thought it was going to be too long but but no, I think I'm just going to fold them in half. Um, I 
I didn't really grab a paper that could be a fold out, but we might have to have to figure that out later. Oh, I kind of wanted I wanted this one this way, I think. With that. Yeah, so let's go this one, this one, this one. So we'll just pop those in each signature. Then the next thing I have is my children's dictionary. And um, I was able to find Christmas and present. And I forget what the third one was. Maybe present. Oh, snow. Snowball, snowflake, snowman. Yeah. And then this one has Christmas on it. So fun. Okay. So we'll do this one this way so that this snowball, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna work on those with some washi tape because they're real thin. So I'm just going to set these aside for now. The Christmas one. Yeah, they're super, um, super crispy because they're so vintage. And then this one was, what did I say? Present. Right here. Okay. And present. Okay. So then I just have a variety of coffee dyed papers. Um, I think I'm going to have things set up to where the acid in the coffee dyed paper won't be touching the photos. So, but I'll be sure to mention that to my gal because um, she's not going to want that because she does not going to want her son's photos to be compromised in any way. Okay, I'm kind of wondering a little bit about those pages too. They're a little, I think they're okay. Okay, so let's just get all this folded. There's some graph paper, up dyed graph paper. That I do believe my friend Catherine gave me in my birthday bundle of coffee dyed papers, which is so awesome. Here's some green that I did. I thought green would be good, right? And then this line Catherine did. I think she, pretty sure she coffee dyed it on um, a cooling rack, you know. So, let's see. Of how that is and once we get these signatures together I want to be able to see kind of how chunky it's going to be and if we if we need more we'll add more but um yeah okay so let's just let's just put these together yeah, but we Dictionary page, this, and <clears throat> maybe then the green page, and then we'll work them around the colorful pages that we're adding to the book. Yeah, I have some other ideas in case we need we need more paper. Okay. And then we'll do the graph paper. And then I have some envelopes that we're going to add to. And then we'll see where we're at. Okay. So first one, let's see. We've got 
the two. I do kind of like Santa up against that green. So I think I'm just going to pop this in here and then maybe just in the middle of the pages that we have. Okay. Okay, so that's signature one. Signature two. Don't really care for that there, so we'll do, do this. Does this have on it? And this by the green, yeah. And there. Okay. Signature two. And then this one. So cute. So cute. So cute. Um, I think I want to put the Santa by the green one again. put the music one in between again. Okay, and then we have our these. So, let's fix those up right quick here. I can find my scissors. I've got three different washi tapes. And I don't know, I probably some red that I could use too, like this. And I thought I had some red and white polka dot. Let me look in my other drawer real quick. Oh, yeah. What I was thinking of is this fabric, which might be fun. So maybe we'll do that on the um, middle one. So, I think I want Christmas first, present second, and then snowman. So, this is going to be the middle one. So, let's do it with the fabric with the fabric tape. I need my uhu as well because you know I never put on the washi without the uhu. So, we're just going to reinforce these a little cuz I just don't want them to crack. So we'll do one on each side just to make sure. And that'll be perfect. Okay. You know what I need to grab is my utility knife because I noticed Artie Mays has a little technique where she, she gets up under the corner with her utility knife. Oh, wow, that works great. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> that is awesome. So I'm just going to run this. On my uhu, and we'll just put it right down the middle, like so, and the other side. Well, she's much more skilled at this than I am, but notice how I'm putting my utility knife over to the side. One of my sweet subbies, I don't, I suppose I was taking pages out of a book or something on a video and I had my utility knife there and she said, I was so nervous you were going to stab yourself on your utility knife. I'm glad my subbies look out for me. <laughs> the Lord knows I need it. Oh, so, okay. So we've got present for in the middle. That's so cute. 
Okay, so that goes in the middle signature, and where would we like it? Kind of go on every other page. Don't know that I love it right by the dictionary, but maybe. It's kind of fun in a way, the ch children's dictionary right by the grown-up dictionary. Okay, so the first one, I'm going to do this one with. I obviously tore it last time because it's all jaggedy. Okay. And we'll just give that a little bit of a reinforcement down the middle as well. So it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow here and so I am considering doing my first try at um, echo dyeing paper. I finally found a pot at a a state sale that is big enough for me to put paper in and we just went oops to Home Depot at the end of last week and got some um, kind of wire mesh stuff we have a couple places where mice are trying to get in and so um, we got this wire mesh stuff that I think will work well to sandwich the paper between so I'm thinking of giving it a giving it a whirl and I need to do a bunch of deadheading on my plants because we're going to have company on Sunday night and so I need to get the yard shaped up anyway I'm thinking that I'm deadheading I might as well trim off a few live leaves too <laughs> and or live flowers and try the echo dyeing so I think that's my plan for tomorrow so I'm not sure um, my last video was really long and so well, I barely got that in the middle I hope I did better on the inside I did <laughs> so um, anyway my other video was really long so it's gonna take forever to upload and so I was thinking about um, just saving this video and posting it tomorrow. But so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just, I'm gung ho, can you tell, to do this journal. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to use this one on this one. Yeah, I feel like. Ah. Ooh, I didn't want that to happen. Gentle, gentle. Ooh. Okay, um, the other one's too modern, I feel like, for this book, so I might toss it back in my Christmas bag. I have a whole bag of Christmas stuff, and it's kind of sitting beside me, but I really... I went through it before I started this video just to see that I could um, pull some stuff for pages and pull some stuff for doing the decorating down the down the road a little bit here. Ugh, this one makes my eyes go crazy. I thought I had a good idea of where to cut and then I'm like, ooh, lost it. Okay. Um, yeah, so I am excited to start decorating. I always am. But kind of getting all the all the basics done here first. Where is the cut on that? Okay. Or the fold, I mean. There we go. Okay. And then this one is going to go this way. 
Did a lot better job getting that in the middle, didn't I? So this is the one that I'm talking about that just, it's just a little too modern. This one maybe too, I don't know. So anyway, but we have options. Okay, so we are going to then get that in number three. That one's going to go kind of in the same place. Or do I like it there? I like it next to the... kind of like making little differences. Sometimes I put the signatures exactly the same together, but... Sometimes I like to do little differences. Okay, so that, that is the three. Where is my cover? Right here. So if I spread those out, about an inch between. Boy, I think once we get decorated, that might be pretty good. I still have the envelopes to do, so let's let's work on those a little bit. Um, so I think we'll do this one in the front. What I want to do with this one is do the two envelopes. Um, one on top of the other, like this. You know, and just sew them right in like that. So they'll open like this. So what we need to do is we need to cut, cut down the middle. And then I'm going to attempt to around the edge so that it looks similar to the other side. Now what I might need to do is give that a little bit more of, a, of an angle and then give it around. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and same on the red one. So we're just going to cut down here. Give it a bit of an angle so it kind of matches the other side. And then round it. And then it's like that. Awesome. Okay. So now we just have to decide where do we want to put them in the signature. And I am thinking gosh, maybe right up front there. Let's see. I mean, there's lots of places they would look look good, I think. Yeah, I like I think I like them here so that they're not the first thing when you open. Okay, so those two are going to go in like that. Okay, so that's the first signature. Second signature, I have this guy, and I did a little mixed media messing around with it. And so I was thinking thinking about doing this one. I might do is think about like remember this cutoff that had a bright Christmas? I could I could make a journaling card out of that for here. So if I made it well, maybe about right there.
then this side I'm gonna kind of open and then I'm thinking about this one will be in the signature like this so um trying to think of where I think I have my scrapbooking scissors right here I think what I'm gonna do and this was a trick from Andrea at Artie Mays. And I'm going to take this side and just give that a cut. Easier said than done. She made it look so easy. <laughs> okay. Scissors are so not sharp. Oh yeah, then that gives it kind of a little edge that you can more easily get in. But um, I'm gonna want to give that some distressing on the edge, which we could do later, but might as well just do it now. well yeah, that looks good let's do let's distress this envelope I think I like that and then um, when we're decorating the journal we'll definitely put some fun images or something on this um, on this envelope because there's lots of lots of opportunity to decorate on this. I just kind of liked that it had already had the green to it, you know. So this will be fun and different, you know, than a normal envelope. So. That is kind of fun too. And all I did to um, decorate this envelope up was uh, use a stencil, and this is just Delusion spray inks that I just sprayed through the stencil. So that's all that is. I'm kind of thinking about putting this in here before I forget that that's what I wanted to do, because that could happen, you know. So let's see. The envelope is six. This is 12, so three on each side should do it, right? Yeah, I think I am going to do that right now before I forget. How are we doing time-wise, guys? 40 minutes? Okay. Well, we I wanted to get the signatures done, and I think, we're, I think we've about accomplished that, so that's good. Okay. Those are fun little pieces. That's something else can be done with. Yeah, I'm going to need to take a little skosh off this side of each one, just so it's easy in and out of the envelope. But yeah, it's good that we're doing this because I no doubt would have forgot my brilliant idea. <laughs> 
Okay, I think I'm going to round the corners of this. Just, I don't know, just because it's kind of asking me to. So let's grab that. I did a big cleanup after my last journal, and now everything's put away. And guess what? It's all coming back out again. See, that could easily be journaled on, on the back, I think. Cute. Okay. And then I have one more envelope for the third signature. I didn't think I'd put any doilies in this one. Um, just, you know, because we are trying to have it be a little bit more more not so girly I guess is what I'm going to say I don't, I don't know that it's going to be masculine necessarily but it's going to be not girly hopefully okay cute all right so we will I need to get to the dollar store and see if I can find some of those sponges. This guy's deteriorating. He's only done like one journal with him. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. That's just because that's what I thought of. Now we could kind of attach it to, which might be fun. Just to have this down like that. Okay. So now, where do we want this in this one? Again, that first page feels like it. I'm feeling like it needs something. Switch these. Kind of nice, isn't it? And on the other side, I think that'll be okay. So that's the second. It's funny how much bulk an envelope adds. And then the third one, I think all I'm going to do on this one is just put the spine right there. So that's just where do we want a red envelope? And I'll probably want to tuck something in it, so I don't necessarily want to cover things up. It's kind of fun across from Santa and Mrs. Santa, isn't it? Yeah, and then that's okay. Cool. So I think we have, I think we have our signatures ready. So I'm thinking about what to do next. Okay. So here's one thing. Maybe I want to take like six of the pages out of the book and attach you know, do see, look at this book. Oh, it's so sad. It's like all torn up and everything. But I think I'm going to be able to salvage some of these pieces anyway. Um, yeah, I'm wondering about maybe making pages. Again, putting the washi down the middle. That would be kind of fun. And this has, it's, the copyright is 1918. So oh, that's really cool. I spent last night <laughs> erasing as much as the, the whole book was scribbled in. The whole entire book. And um, so that was, you know, disappointing. But I'm going to salvage it the best I can. As my friend Diane Hubert and I were talking about today on um, our little conversation... You know, we are really giving these old books new life. I mean, 
it's scribbled in. Most people would have thrown it away. So, okay, I really kind of want that at the beginning. So let's do that. Kind of deciding if I should back it onto something, but I really want that copyright to show. I don't know. I think it might be okay. But we'll see. So if we put that together, we can then put that in this in this book. I think that would be cool. Okay, this one I know for sure I want in the front, so let's get it ready. And it just might be enough to really reinforce it to put this fabric tape or washi tape on it, you know. But I think that would be kind of neat to have some of the pages. I think some of them I'm going to have to, like, back on coffee dyed card stock or something to make journaling cards because like you saw the one is just ripped right down the middle so I don't know I'm gonna have repair to do to figure these guys out but that's that's good I mean this is what she wanted gosh there's I know I really worked on this one but there's still you can kind of still see the the pencil marks but but look at this picture of Santa. Is that not amazing? So, this book is definitely worth saving. So, we're going to take it upon ourselves to do that. Oh my gosh, Andrea, you're so much better at this than I. Just not quite sure how to get... But this does work better than my fingernails, that's for sure, because I really don't have any fingernails. <laughs> it's like, it's funny because you see gals with these gorgeous nails and they're like, hey, I can't do this or that with my nails. Well, I can't do things without nails. So there you go. We're in the same boat. I think I got that apart. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. There. That's right, she hangs on to the tape when she does this. I'm going to get this technique because I think it's a great one and a good time saver. So, <laughs> not that it looked like it just then, but in general, I think it would be. Okay, so let's, I'm just going to stand up and just get this right in the middle as best I can. Yes, 1918, so cool. Now, I know somebody's going to say you should have scanned the images and kept those and stuff, but you know, I don't know. My attention span is such that it's like I could save all this stuff, but it's like I'm on to the next thing, on to the next thing, you know? And so, um, I'm okay with giving my customer the real, the real deal, the real vintage thing. Because, you know, it gives me reason to look for more. <laughs> look for more and other and different and all of that. Okay. Okay, little night before Christmas book. We're going to get you put into a new home and hopefully, oops, hopefully you will live on for many years. <laughs> we books for we folks. Okay, so in the first signature, where could we put this? I mean, I do kind of like it right. Maybe that's what we needed right at the beginning. 
right? Yep. Okay. And then, so I, I told my customer, I said, the, see, they've, they've tried to fix it with labels and all sorts of stuff. So I said, it's not going to be in order. Look at this page. Yeah, that's what the whole book looked like. And that one, I was like, I don't love the illustration that much. Maybe I won't use that one. Oh. But here's a couple good ones with Santa. And um, so let's just pull those out. And make page out of those, too. Um, yeah, so anyway, I told her I wasn't going to be able to probably use them all because some of them aren't just really aren't good and so the story isn't going to be intact but she seemed to be okay with that just wanted me to use as much as I could which I will for sure so yeah I think it's a fun idea to put her son's pictures into a journal like this that's really kind of fun did you see that did you see how good i did that <laughs> oh maybe getting the maybe getting the technique down okay get those as close as i can and down not exactly straight darn that's going to tear. That's okay. That's okay. Yep. There it is. That's the ticket. It's holding that tape down with your utility knife. That's what works. Okay. So I'm not sure which signature I'm going to put this one in yet. That's cute, isn't it? Super cute. Okay. Okay, let's see what else is in here that we could... A couple of Santas there. There's a Santa. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those ones with the labels in them yet. So maybe we can use these couple at the back. Make the end. Okay, so I think I'll use this one in the middle signature. <laughs> Made me decide. Okay, so let's see. Maybe I'll just put these right at the front. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Get this one ready and we'll put him in the last signature. And then I think our signatures will be pretty much ready, except I kind of would like. Like a, a big tag or something. I don't know. I may go back to some of my um, design team kits from, like from Artie Mays. Because she has the, the big tags, you know. Maybe I could use those in the middle or something. I don't know. Figure that on, out off camera and then... When we get back together, we'll kind of be to some of the decorating, I think. Not going to have as much sewing in these because of not having lace on them. But I still might do fabric um, flips or pockets or something. So, yeah. 
Geek. Geek. Okay, got it. So I don't know if my gal is going to watch these videos or not, but Linda, if you do, let me know if I'm on the right track or if there's something else you want to see. Because... As I said, I've just, I've really given this one a lot of thought because um, it's just such a different challenge with the photos and stuff. But I have some really good ideas, which we, when we get to the decorating part, we will do for photos on the pages. Okay, so let's get that trimmed up and put in the last one. Great. Okay, I am happy. I am happy with our little signatures. I think they're going to be going to be nice. We'll put this one right at the beginning as well. It's right here. Like that. Okay, so there's our three signatures. Cardstock on the outside, cardstock in the middle. So we have some spaces to do some things for photos. Have our cute little book. Have some just fun papers, our envelopes. Decorate that all up. I don't need, think he needs a super ton of um, writing space, so I think that's good. That means we can we can play around more with decorating. So that's going to be fun and some ideas for getting the photos in here. too but that's going to be it's going to be good for photos I think yeah got some ideas in that regard okay well I'm going to call this session done then and um yeah we're just gonna you know <laughs> I I say that as I'm looking at this thinking I'd really rather be able to stick in not going to matter, is it? It's going to be in the middle anyway. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. So, we're going to call this one good. Thanks everybody for watching the signature preparation. And we will just be back next time with some more fun. So, everybody have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.